Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Dark Souls 2. Don't want to go to this place. This place is evil. Alright, let's see, we're here now. Hold the desk herb. See, I can get to there. Okay. So, see those mages? That mage right there? He shoots homing shots. Have fun with it. Because we're going to be dealing with them a lot. Very glad I focused on my two men in the early game. Because we need a lot of it. And they generally shoot further than you. In almost all cases. If you get shot while on those ropes, you will fall. And. Oh, hey! So, finally found Pate. Now we get to choose which person to kill. Well, Pate's a freaky, crazy person. Um, he's given us stuff, so I'll help him out. Oops, I hit both. Triton Steel Mask. Okay. Truckle Pine Resin. What misunderstanding could have caused this? Well, thank you. I owe you my life. My little pied de terre lies beyond here. You'll find some of my treasures there. Help yourself to those that suit you. Here, use this key. Zeldora Den key. So yeah, I never got this key because I never released uh, Crichton from his... Uh, well, I never spoke to Crichton as the issue. <laughs> Be cautious on your travels. Be cautious. By the way, pathway there. Anyway, uh, what else we got going here? Nothing there. There's this door that's probably a trap. Yes, it is. Hey, Spidey. Okay. So, first things first, let's see if we can get a shot at the uh, casters. There's where we'll end up going soon. Can I reach you from here? Well, I can slide down there. So let's go the other way first. Torch. Charmer ahead, therefore be wary, wary of right. Have fun. Right, 
go over here real quick. Grab that. Finite chunk. Alright, we're on the other side. Where are we? Oh, okay. Kind of see where we're at. Alright, let's backtrack a little. Yeah, this place is a little... It's not too hard to navigate, but I want to try to take out those casters as much as possible. Which is easier said than done, unfortunately. Can't get a hit. Go! Oh wow, look at that. That was freaking... Ow! I was gonna hey, I was busy, like, giving myself a pat on the back. Stop shooting me. Ugh. Sorry, I spin the mic there for a second. Alright. So yeah, this was what makes it difficult to deal with. I can't hit him from here. Oh. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Just non-stop fires. I hate this place so much. Luckily I can one-shot him. But it still doesn't change the fact that they're all dicks. Rouge water. Lightning urn. Not sure why they said rouge water. Why can't they just say red water? Rouge is uh, French for red, by the way, for those who don't know. There we go, got one. He went around the freaking corner there. The jerk. Uh, yeah, I can't hit him from here. But let's try not to kill myself. Alright. So we're stuck going this way. Not a big deal. It's not like we missed anything really. Bonfire here. Spiders here. All right. So, grabbing this, my dragon bones, you get spiders, hope you like spiders. Easiest way to deal with them, just run back. Uh, easiest way to do it is to run back to the act your actual room that you went to, not, you know, one you haven't visited before. So that, that was a basilisk that came out of the ground, not a big deal. Spideys. Stop playing with the furniture. I right, can't get up there that way. We're done. Oh, he fell finally. Good. He eventually falls over, which is pretty amusing. 
Uh, that thing there is a red, it looks like one of those Twinkling Titanite lizard things, but it's actually red and it explodes. So have fun with that. Also, what happened to the other guy? There you are, found you. Petrifying breath, be careful about it. Gotcha. That was a good shot. Alright, next thing. Deal with you, exploding lizard. Anyway, in here is that uh, bird lady we saved earlier. There's locks down, don't need it. Oh, there's also these guys. They shouldn't mess with us. Oh, we meet again, kind traveler. This is my workshop. In your tongue, I believe I will be called a blacksmith. I create all manner of equipment. Using an ancient technique unique to my people. Normally, I only cater to a very select few. But I have a debt to you. I will craft one thing of your choice. My wares are far from ordinary. I am certain that they will please you. I require no payment this time. But you must bring me a wondrous soul. My technique absolutely requires it. And I trust you will understand. So she has, what is this? Okay, it's a curved greatsword. Uh, partisan, twin blank, bossa bow, heavy crossbow. Uh, fire arrows and bolts. Um, she has an infinite number of flame butterflies. So you can get all the flame butterflies you'll ever need. Um, then she has a few uh, arcane spells. Repair your gear. Uh, she can reinforce if you want to. Um, she will also, for this, for, for the first uh, trade, it won't cost any souls at all, but you still have to provide a um, soul. So right now, she has access to the Lost Center, the Butcher's Knife, the Iron King Hammer, and the Dragon Slayer Spear. Um, none of these I really care to have. Maybe the Lost Center Sword, but we're not really a character that uses great swords at the moment, so... We'll talk the to you. The nature of an item is greatly influenced by the soul that was used to create it. They can be tricky to use, but when wielded properly, they are extremely powerful. This is what I meant by unique. These wares are not for use by ordinary folk. It's hard to believe now, but this land was once a flourishing kingdom. Its king, Vendrick came close to unlocking the essence of the soul. What a dazzling soul he surely had. Imagine what I might create with such a powerful soul. It is said that our technique originates from a strange being who had inhabited this land. A pale beast that lived long, long ago. We don't even know what exactly it was. If you find a wondrous soul, bring it by for me to have a look. Do you find me strange? <laughs> you humans are always this way. The way you glare at any unfamiliar creature. That mix of curiosity Fear and revulsion. No, it hardly concerns me. The nature of an item is bigger. This 
come again. Yeah, it'll please you. Yep. Ooh. Butterfly. Alright, so if we ever need to trade in souls, we can go back to her. It's a little annoying to come back here because of the freaking turrets all over the place that are shooting spells up. But it could be worse. Anyway, let's head on over here. Are you lootable? No, you're not. Nothing there. By the way, death there. Don't fall on it. Spidey. All right. Oh, drop something. Give me rouge water. Let me out of here. Press an axe and soul vortex. Hmm. Did I miss something? No, I didn't miss anything. Fairly certain I didn't miss anything. Oh, there it is. Uh, before we go there, let's, um,. head back up to see if I can uh, reach anywhere from there. that. Can't do anything from... Yeah, we can't do anything from here. We would have to start from the top again. Alright. Well, yeah, don't fall down there. It's a bad idea. Fall down here, though. So, I'll just have life gems active for now, because I have so many of them. Alright, let's uh, continue on. Pretty sure the things that are, like, out of my reach are not that big of a deal, if I recall correctly. Hey, skeleton. Or off for skeleton. Fight night chunk. Alright, so we're now over here with the... Those. Prism stone, always nice. Get out of the way of that. Drake Stone. There should be another one around here. Yeah, it's over there. Hey, what's up? Oh. Be careful about attacking them multiple times. Um. Because it's actually a zombie with a spider on its back. So, oh, great scythe. Well, I guess I didn't need to buy it. So, like, you'll attack the zombie and you'll be damaging it, but the spider on its back will be rearing back to attack you. So, be aware of that. Um, try attacking. This door is going to blow open. So, shoot him from here. I missed. Let's try that again. Still not enough. Now you can blow open doors. As soon as I, you know, learn how to aim. There we go. So yeah, it blows out. It doesn't kill you, at least from what I recall, but it does hurt. Anyway. This is the 
you have to get the key that Pate gives you. Trap ahead. And of course, he gives us something that's trapped. Rift gauntlets. Oh my god, I missed it. Well, it was bound to happen eventually. Alright. Which means I gotta go and deal with the, the uh, casters again. What fun. Oh, never mind, I don't. Well, yes, I do, technically. So, all we gotta do run. Just run. Don't stop running. There you go. We're in the clear for now. Or sort of in the clear. Hey, part of me. Let me through. See, these guys don't flinch, really. It's really annoying. Really annoying. Human FG, thanks. I'll go ahead and use it then. Anyway, dick move, Pate. No one likes you. Oh, it's still trapped. That's hilarious. The store's metal. Alright. I survived it this time somehow. That'll leave a nice scar. Pate. I'm gonna destroy you. Then rest of coins. So yeah. I find you, Pate. I don't think I will. You're dead. Okay, done with all those. Let's go deal with you. Alright, there is a Dark Spirit right there. Say hello to Dark Spirit guy. Alright, where we need to go is over there. Something or pointless. Alright, we can head up here. Titanite shard, and that's about it. Sniper spot. Yeah, if you're up here, you can actually um, shoot at the uh, red phantom. Though the, the time I had to deal with the red phantom, he ran into these spikes here that caused continuous damage and just like practically killed himself. Anyway, um, two uh, two uh, spider zombies up there.
Yeah, it attacks you somehow. Every time. Really annoying. But I'll go ahead and call this a video here. Uh, I'm just seeing if there's anything worth looting. There is not. So I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Dark Souls 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.